So on this video we are going to show you how you can get prefabs into the game. So we need some tools to get going if you haven't done so already you're going to need to get Unreal Engine, Python 3.8, Dungeons Mod Kit Master, Java Edition of Minecraft and Dungeons. Um, I should have covered all this prior so I won't go over it again. Anyway, so to start off we'll go into our Dungeons Modding folder. We will then go Modding Dungeons Mod Kit Master Tools and then I think it's it's not that one, it's user settings editor directory. So if you haven't set up the Unreal Engine, you're need, going to need to locate your binaries here. This is where mine is, Epic Games Unreal Engine, and then UE 4.22 Engine binaries, Win64. Win you need Unreal Engine 4.22, not a newer version, not an older version, 4.22 something, I think it's 3, but 4.22. Then we can close that once you've changed that, and then you should already have the package output location as working mod within your mod directory so this is all covered right so back to dungeons mod kit master here so before we get started we're going to have to download a new tool for our unreal engine um, unfortunately this was made yesterday by cc code to aid the implementation of um, prefabs otherwise it's a longer route this is a more direct and quicker route so I will suggest to get this so we're going to need to do is up at the link description is go on the Dukucraft um, discord server and you'll be able to find the asset so we just need to go here we need to download it so I have literally just downloaded it and let me open that up and then we have got it here so we have got the blueprint here so I'm going to move that over to here so you out the way we can then go back to our project here we can go into content and we can literally just copy it in here so this needs to be done before you load the unreal engine project so back to ue4 project and we can double click the dungeons u project so we we'll load that up sometimes it takes a while so just let it run it's not too bad in the meantime what we're going to do is we are going to go into java while we're in Java, we need to go single player, R level void, and I'm just going to open up the world folder because I always like to have the world folder open. Um, I think I've already, no, there it is. I thought I might have had it, but it's um, it's here. There you go. So this is our save save game folder for void. So I'm just going to minimize that. Oh, look, um, Unreal is loaded up with the blueprint loader there. So we don't need that at the moment, but anyway right so we're back into Java we are going to open up void and <coughs> once a void has opened up it's raining nice this is our level that you probably recognize or don't recognize um, I'm going to put a new structure block down now if you don't know how to get to structure box you basically have to give yourself a structure block you can't find it so we right click we will place one there and then we go into this now the structure name we are going to call it region right let's uh, get that spelt right region and then I'm going to call it prefab one I'm going to put the positioning naught 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 and I'm going to go back on to save and go one 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 for the structure size and click done you can see here that the edges are glowing which means it's all worked perfectly now the reason we're putting a structure block in is because in Unreal to tell it where it lives is a bit of a half ass way of doing it it's a bit annoying and by putting a structure block there we can directly reference it um, through the object JSON and take out its position otherwise it's a bit annoying and if you've got a rather large map you may have to count blocks once we've done that we are done and we can save and quit we can then minimize this we do not need this anymore um, what we need to do next is we need to move this all across so back to your dungeons mod kit master tools and then java world to object group so we've used this many times and you should really know what you're doing by now when I say use your object group to Java world to object group. But I'll go through it anyway. So the first pop up is your needs your save location. That's why we opened it. So this is the void save location. I'm copying the address of that, pasting the address in here and then clicking select folder. Then it wants your dungeons mod kit, um, the location of your object group .json. So I've just literally gone back to the mod kit copied that I will paste this into here then I'm going to go back to dungeons mod kit I'm going to go um, dungeons content data lovica object groups 
test and then object group dot json I'm then gonna save this and it says are you sure blah 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 yes so once that's done and it will close so now we can go back into our modding folder we can go modding dungeons market dungeons content data lovica object group test object group dot json right so once that's loaded up we can see here that within main one there is now prefab one and it tells me that the positioning here tells me the size so this is the information that we need all here main and pos so we can now go into dungeons unreal and we can start filling out this content you can see that the blueprint loader has spawned in here under the contents which is good and we need to use that later on but first we need to decide what blueprint we're actually going to put in our map so I'm just moving this across and then I'm gonna load up F model so F models here and we can see stuff so I need to load the pack chunks as this is a pack chunk reader um, or a PAK reader really um, click load on them and it should go into dungeons and then content and then down to decor prefabs and here are your prefabs so what we're going to do is scroll down a little bit and I'm going to use the barrel prefab now there's 17 files in here this is what the numbers mean so or 17 assets and we go over to the 17 assets here and we can choose one of these one of the ones that has BP underscore in front of it this means a blueprint the M is material uh, S is shaders well they're sort of material and shaders so they're stuff that makes it look pretty and the T's are the textures and things so if I double click them you can see here's the text textures of the barrel so we can have a look and I'm going to use the fish barrel here I think and this is the texture for it so what we need to do is copy the name of the prefab that you want to make we will use this in a minute um, copy file name or you can do one better and you can go copy file name without extension so back into unreal let me move this over because we only need to see that much we need to make the folder structure up as relative to this path here so we've already got content so we need to make decor prefabs and barrel so we can t do this by clicking on the content folder and going new folder then typing in the name so decor then clicking on the deck right clicking on the decor new folder prefabs and then again one more time for the barrel once we have the location sorted as in all the file structure uh, all the folder structures done we can then go into this window here and we can right click let me go down here right click and go blueprint class click the blueprint class click actor and then we can paste the name that we took from the f model there we go that is the placeholder done for the barrel fish <clears throat> so the next thing that we need to do is find where the map lives the map structure so if we go back to folder we go up we close the prefabs down open up maps we are working on arch haven map so we want to expand this and we need to make this up so we need to go back into unreal and then from decor we need to make a new folder called maps then within maps we need to make a new folder called Arch Haven and then within Arch Haven we need to make a new folder called a sublevel levels with a capital L so copy these directly as they are written here so this is sublevels with a capital L and a capital S just to make sure it's all correct so within sublevels we need to make a new level now we have to name this the ID of the stretch or the tile that we want to place it on so for us it is main one um, we can confirm this by going back into our object group .json and seeing main one holds prefab one so once that's done we can double click on main one it will probably ask you to save it so we go save selected and the viewport window here for the level has gone black so we can tell that everything is working properly because we've got all the sub levels we've got all the barrels and it's all gone black on main one so now what we need to do is we need to place the prefab now we don't want to place the 
barrel fish we want to place the blueprint loader so we drag this up into the black space here let go and then that's placed on the right hand side you'll have its options when it's selected so if it's not selected you don't get anything but once you select that on the in the world you'll get the options up here on the right we need to change the location of it so this is why we put that structure block in and we can then get the positioning here now you just must bear in mind that there's two little things to remember that although this says 111 we actually need to times the coordinates or the position by 100 so in Unreal that would be 100 100 100 but just to add something different Unreal and um, Java they seem to swap the um, Y and the Z axes here so within this this is Z this is Y and on Minecraft this is Z and this is Y it's a bit annoying but you can get your head around it quite easily so we just need to go over to the transform put 100 100 100 where this is relatively easy if for instance this was 2 here we would then have to go here and put 100 100 200 to reference it properly so this is the Z value here this is the Z value so hopefully that makes sense but it's quite straightforward just times by 100 and swap the Z and the Y round so this should have done the positioning for our uh, blueprint loader and you can have as many blueprint loaders in the map as you want to reference different uh, prefabs but we're only doing one for now so the last thing that oh, the last thing that you need to do is go under here where it says default it says a blueprint class click this and you must find your blueprint that you want to reference so we're doing the BP barrel fish so we're going to click that and then that is done we can then go over into the middle ish and click save all then we click save selected and we are done here so I'm just going to minimize everything down now because we don't generally need it the only next step we need to do is go back into dungeons modding um, uh, modding dungeons mod kit then it's tools and config then we need to open up the RCJ now if you haven't got this associated with a notepad or a text editor that you can do you can right click it and go open with and then choose what you want to open it with so like this and I want to open it with notepad always use this and OK so then it will open up now we need to exclude the blueprint model from um, basically cooking itself so we need to put if you've still got it pasted we need to paste this in here you need to do this at any blueprint that you've got and then you just need to put on the end dot star so th what this is saying is exclude anything with the name bp underscore barrel underscore fish and any extension so we just save that up now and that is done so what we need to do now is go back to dungeons mod kit master and run the cook assets dot bat this will run and cook all the assets from um, Unreal Engine. Sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it doesn't take any time at all. I think the more you do it, the more that gets loaded into memory and therefore it doesn't take as long. So the first time is always the longest. So our cookbot.bat has finally done everything and when we can go back into dungeons up here content and we can see that the loader is put up here you can see that it's also got decor it's also got maps and arch haven sub levels and it's got our main one if you've got anything else other than that it may not work properly because we don't want to put the blueprint actually in here only the blueprint loader because we're just referencing it to put it into the game we're not actually changing anything we also got the data folders here which we've been playing with earlier on if they wanted to load up with the Lovica levels and object groups here so now we're ready to pack it up so we've got a package dot bat up here we can double click this it should take two seconds and then it's done and closed so now all left to do is to run dungeons and see if our barrel is in the game so here we are in dungeons we're going over to the mission select again and we're going to load up Archhaven click start and hopefully what we want to see is a barrel where our structure block should be now the positioning may be out it happens from time to time where the uh, I think it's the blueprint center isn't the same center um, and 
hold on we can see it here let me do some it's loaded there but you can't really see it so hold on one a second so what i've just done is i've just put uuu -U -U in place which means i can uh go through this in like a fly mode sort of sort of way and um, we can see where the bow is if i can get my controls to work properly so there's our barrel unfortunately it has gone half into the wall so the center must not be the center of the barrel um, <clears throat> what we're going to need to do is move that over a little bit and then this way a little bit so that would be on the X and the Y axes to bring it back down here I'll go off and do that and I will show you the results in a second so here we are back in the game as you can see the barrel is there right next to the wall pretty much where our um, structure block was now I had to move it to 150 to 150 um, I guess the center on here is not perfect so it's sort of uh, here not here but anyway it doesn't matter we've got it into the game so just bear that in mind when you're loading prefabs I feel like I walk on the wall now um, just bear that in mind when you're loading prefabs that the centers and things may not be as you first thought so load them up have a look play around and make sure you're happy before you go ahead um, also they are walkable so you can do stuff and they should be um, interactive as well so if you're loading the table map for instance you should be able to go off and load another level from it also there is speculation that you can load any blueprint like enemies and things like that no one's done it yet um, <coughs> I'll have a play later and see if it is possible but I don't know it's just early days so have a look have a play and see what prefabs you can spawn some may some may not I mean if you do get any issues and you don't understand it or you're getting problems or errors come over to the Deku craft discord server um, <coughs> let us know what the problem is and I'm sure someone out there will be able to help you um, if you're this in depth in the map modding um, we'll be more than glad to help you those guys over there they're quite knowledgeable and they will know most things so anyway that is it for now we have now loaded a prefab into the map we can do many prefabs and we could keep going and going and going but for now we've just done the fish in a barrel so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and i'll catch you again soon